Hey y'all, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Cowgirl Museum Craft Corral. Today we're taking inspiration from Cowgirl Museum honoree Annie Oakley. Now Annie was internationally known for her talents with sharpshooting. What was typically a male-dominated sport, Annie became a legend in her own right with her performances with the Buffalo Bill Wild West show. Now, while Annie was the star of the show, you may not know that in between performances, she was incredibly talented doing needlework in her tent. With our artifact we have in our collection, Annie's needlework belt, we can see that while she may have been talented with the rifle, she was also talented with a needle and thread. Today, we're taking inspiration from that belt to make our own embroidered craft, a cowgirl boot paper plate. So to get started, we're going to need a pair of scissors, embroidery thread or floss. You can also use yarn if that's what you have or just any sort of thicker string. You'll need a needle. Um, I have my needles stored in a little pin cushion, but you'll only need one needle. It's preferably a little bit larger and longer. You'll need a paper plate. You'll need something to punch a hole through your paper plate. I have a pen and also a seam ripper. You could also use a thumbtack or the needle that you're using for the craft. And then you will just need the cowboy boot template that you'll find on our website. All right, let's get started. Okay, to get started with our embroidery, we're actually going to thread our needle. I just did this poking my, my thread through the eye of the needle and leaving a little bit of a tail. On the other side of my thread, you see I have some knots. Now, how I made those knots was I made a little loop with my thread and then going around, pull the end through and that makes a little knot. So to get our stitches started, we're going to be doing something called the back stitch. There are several different stitches in embroidery, but this way, when we're looking at our piece, you won't see any gaps in our stitches. So I'm going to start right up at the top of our boot and pull my needle through. You can see that because of the stitches, you can see that because of the knots I previously made, the thread isn't slipping through the paper plate. And now I have my thread out here. So I'm going to go, see where my first thread came out, I'm going to go to the hole beside it. Pull it through. Your thread is a little long, it can get caught on itself, but that's okay, just pull it out. And going into the next hole from the back, I'm going to pull my thread out again. Okay, now, if we wanted to continue this stitch, you may think that we would want to go here, so we could keep making our boot. However, we're going to have a big gap if we do that. So we're actually going to go back into the hole behind the stitch we just made. And that is going to make what we like to call back stitch. See how that makes a nice clean line? To keep going, we're going to follow our hole outlines and pull through. And again, instead of going down, we're going to go up into the hole above it to make our line. Go in from the back of the piece. And from the front, you're going to go back into the hole we had created. All right, we're gonna keep doing that all the way down and then I'll show you what to do next. Once you get to the bottom of your boot, you'll see that we have a spot where the boot turns into the heel. 
And that I actually would like to make another color. So instead of going all the way down, I'm going to stop here and taking my plate, I'm actually going to go over back through and turn a corner and start going above the heel into the toe. That will leave my me some holes so I can go in with a different color at the end and make this heel a little bit of an accent. Now just to remind y'all how to do the back stitch, I'm going to go in to this hole here See, I have my space. I'm going to go back through where we already have the thread. And that keeps any spaces from happening. All right, I'm going to go all the way to the toe, up, and to the top. I'm going to leave these inside holes and the pull straps alone because I'm going to make those different colors. So we have some accents inside the boot. Okay, y'all, as you can see, I've finished the outline of my boot in blue. And once I'm done, see that I have a bit of string left over. And just to make sure it doesn't slip and slide around, I'm going to tie a knot that we tied at the beginning where I loop and then pull the end through. All right, I have my little knot, and then just so this doesn't accidentally get tangled, I'm gonna cut the excess off. And now we're ready to do another color. Like with our blue thread, I've put my pink thread on my needle, leaving a little bit of a tail and tying a knot at the other end. Now I would like the heel of my boot to be pink. So I'm actually going to place my needle and start my stitches right in the corner where the blue ends and pull through. And just like last time, I'm gonna go in one, create a stitch, go into the next hole in the back, and continue my back stitching. So instead of going forward, I'm gonna go back. And pull through. And I'll keep going and make the heel of my boot. So as you can see, I've finished my detailing of the pink. And the last thing I wanna do is make this line of the side seam of the boot yellow. So I've put my yellow thread on my needle, just the same as last time where I have a little bit of a tail and a knot at the end. And just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna start at the top and go the, all the way down. So I'm going to start, instead of at this hole, I'm going to start where the blue thread intersects so you won't get a gap. So I'm gonna push my needle through, pull it, And go back in. Just like before, I'm going to go in this way. And instead of going down, I'm going to back stitch one more time. So I'm going to go back in through here and then back stitch all the way down the boot. Finished my yellow stitches. I took my needle off my thread. I made a little knot, and now I'm just going to cut off the excess. And now our embroidered boot 
is complete. And here is my finished cowgirl boot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see your finished paper plates. So if you want to, please take a picture, post it on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, and tag us with Cowgirl Museum. If you like this, please give it a like and share it with your friends who may also want to make this craft. And I hope to see you all again soon.